The anniversary of January 6 is upon us. In deranged Democrat language, it was an insurrection, apparently the deadliest in US history. To their disgrace, January 6 is indeed the Democrats' 9-11. Deplorables should rejoice because the Democrats are having a fit and that's fun. Rejoice but don't partake or dignify the production. Ignore January 6 as you would spam for penis extensions. Stay away from the force field of evil that is the Democrats' January 6 psychological operation or PSYOP. Much like the Russia hoax, which was a plot to remove a president, the January 6 monomania is meant to overthrow a people, MAGA America. Since there is nothing much to commemorate except for the cold-blooded, unpunished murder of an unarmed protester, Ashley Babbitt, January 6 must be viewed as a long-term, cynical, political strategy. Put it this way, when Trump is dead and gone, the same fraudulent outlets conjuring an alternate reality will continue to report on the legacy of Trump. This these fake news frauds will frame as current news. In any event, anticipate an orgy of network ninnies and imbeciles gathering at the scene of January 6, delivering excitable diatribes about the near demise of American democracy, courtesy of Trump voters. This, the likes of Anderson Cooper of CNN, will do in fussy falsettos, the voices. After all, menstrual America now rules MAGA America. And the purpose of January 6 commemoration is to single out MAGA America as an object of hatred, while sanctifying and celebrating menstrual America. Who are those? the woke crybabies of Congress and the Capitol Hill cops who wailed the loudest when recounting the, their professional failings on that day. Unlike Republicans who threw January 6 political prisoners under the bus, Democrats admirably stand tall for their core beliefs, as repugnant as these mostly are. The left most certainly didn't rush forward to condemn the Black Lives Matter and Antifa louts as they looted and killed their way across urban America, leveling private property, the livelihoods and businesses of fellow countrymen. Instead, Democrats defended the criminal arm of their party. That's the right's problem. The anatomy of every single left-manufactured network news outrage sees our side always accepting the legitimacy of the left's argument, the premise of their complaint we accept, and we argue on their terms of debate. And then we go on the defensive instead of playing offense. Like them or not, our people are the ragtag bunch who would storm the plush seats of state power and corruption. The Democrats' people are BLM, Antifa, illegal voters and criminal aliens, or just good old vandals, rapists and murderers. The criminal class is now the armed and shielded wing of the Democratic Party. Why do I say shielded? Courageously and audaciously, and successfully, Democrats lionize and give license to their criminal constituents. Awful Adam Kinzinger, a Republican Pelosi poodle, is correct. There is a difference between a crime and a coup. Crimes against innocent fellow citizens are acts of cowardice of the worst kind. A coup against the state can be heroic, just like the American Revolutionary War was a coup against Britain, and it was heroic. Principled conservative libertarians will therefore distinguish pro-Trump patriots from the criminal arm of the Democratic Party, BLM, Antifa and other riffraff. These weaponized Democrats, immunized by their party leaders from criminal liability, romped through America in the summer of 2020. They caused billions in damages. Like locusts, these cultural revolutionaries descended on their neighbors menaced them in places where they shopped, they socialized, 
and these BLM types sadistically threatened them, often physically harming innocents, unless they knelt before them like slaves. On the other hand, the ragtag renegades of the MAGA movement, as misguided as you think they were, stormed only the seat of power and corruption that is the state. Once. The pompous January 6th commissioners, led by that daughter of 60 dogs, apologies to dogs, Liz Cheney, informs us that President Trump knew about the riot, was monitoring it, and he liked the way it was unfolding. But if Trump misjudged the situation during the short time he had, hunkered as he was down in a bunker, then what can we say of the Democrats' response for months on end to their national armies of mobilized terrorists? Democrats knew too. If Trump knew, Democrats knew. Progressive leadership embraced even bailed out its terrorists as spawns not of the devil, which they were, but as summer of love peacenik protesters. If Democrats can defend their rioters, the Republican Party must represent their protesters and secure them their constitutional due process rights still denied. Above all, MAGA America must cancel January 6th. Consider it a civilian psychological operation intended to politically and psychologically pulverize the Democrats' enemies, us.